Hello, this is Coffee Source Rex here. Uh, today is going to be just a standard uh, talking little commentary thing. Um, but for today's episode, um, we're just going to talk about a little something uh, commonly known as brutal honesty. And I just want to, you know, share my thoughts about it. No reason in particular, and I like nothing happened that triggered this. It's just something I thought of and been seeing ish kind of throughout my life, so. Right, anywho, let me. <laughs> this is gonna be just banter, just me talking about nothing for a little bit of time, so. If that's not your cup of tea, then you can. Please don't stay, I don't wanna waste your time, but if you would like to hear that, um, welcome. Anywho, but so yeah. Back to brutal honesty so I feel like a lot of people try to aspire to brutal honesty uh, not that a lot that's a generalization of course but it seems like the idea of it's a honest okay I right, sorry um, you know how lying is bad things like that people it's a common thing they teach people I know I was eternally taught lying is bad but lying can be bad but my point is, honesty can also be used for bad. And lying can be good, and honesty can be used for good. The, uh, I think it's really immature to just believe in the, oh yeah, all honesty and lying. Yeah, like, oh, lying is bad, honesty good, because it depends on how it's used. Now, lying is basically being untruthful about your words or a situation. Honesty is saying what actually did happen. Now, that can create a situation where someone lies to deceive another person uh, out of things like maybe fear of like being made fun of, ostracization, like maybe they don't want to own up to their responsibility, or they can lie for the comfort of other people. For example, you might not like what someone did, like let's say someone drew some art for you. You might not like it, for example, if, like, you're a parent and, like, a kid draws, it might be, like, a horrendous picture. But it's not the art that matters. And that's kind of, like, the white lie. It's where you don't think it's, it's no, it's no, like, amazing art. But the thought and the effort the person went to do it still matters to you. So you can honestly tell them that you love it, not because you think it's good, but you can... Not that you think it's good, it's just like everything else, the emotion behind it. And when you get things like, the common question is for when you hand it stuff like art, it's like, oh, is it good? Does it look good? What do you think? Like, what are your thoughts on it? And most people, well not most, but a lot of people, God might get nervous. and uh, to be kind, even if they don't like it, they'll say it looks good. Now that's no bad, that's something like, it's no bad or good to do that. It's just a person thing. Now moving on to honesty. Brutal honesty is the, I'd say, bad form of honesty. It is the negative form of honesty that people just seem to neglect. Like, honesty isn't one, like, uh, truth. It's not one holy grail. It's just a idea and an action. So what brutal honesty does is it strips honesty of the empathy and the kindness, and it uses honesty somewhat as a weapon, while being disguised as for the own good. If that makes sense. So brutal honesty would be, for example, like let's say you don't like someone's style, way of clothing choice. Honesty would be saying, hey, that's not my favorite look, but you do you. Brutal honesty would be, oh, that looks terrible. Why did you decide to wear that? Like, That might be what you think, but you don't have to always say what you think. I feel like I'm trying to say, like, you, not all thoughts, negative or positive, have to be expressed. And sometimes those negative thoughts, when told, even though it's through honesty, if they're told... It can be harmful to other people. And it can just be sure to brood. So just because something is honest, it doesn't mean it's right. <laughs> um, sorry if I'm not the greatest speaker, by the way. This is just banter, as I said. Anywho, but yeah. My issue with brutal honesty is 
honesty as itself should be seen as good, but the deliver of on delivery of honesty is what creates brutal honesty. When you give someone the truth, that's a good thing. When you Let's hand it to them packaged with like tons of poison ivy and thorns weaved around it, that's not being a good person. That's using honesty to harm someone. And I'm personally not for it. And I've been seeing people with uh, doing acts of brutal honesty all the time. And whenever confronted, they're like, oh, I'm just being honest. And I'll even admit, even I've done the same thing too before. I'm not perfect. I've been quote unquote brutally honest before. And reflecting, I'm shameful of how I've acted sometimes in the past. However, instead of glooming on that shame, I've tried to this video is doing to me reflect on this, reflect on this topic, learn how to be a better person and move on from things in life, so. Also, 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 um, not all brutal honesty. It's, it feels like it'd be generalization for me to, like, say, oh, all this means that. Because I'm no professional, especially with addiction, so I could be totally wrong. These are just my beliefs. However, I still want you to criticize my beliefs if I mess up anything up here. Because honesty, especially the idea of brutal honesty, is an important topic to talk about. Especially when more and more I'm seeing this today's day and age is honesty is being used to hurt other people. So. Well, <laughs> I think I've rambled on for quite long enough. This is Kabisaurus Rex signing off.